Uh, right then, so Ben, um, on Thursday you're moving to Australia um, to play for Fitbit Night, joining Josh Fifth and Luke Monaghan. How did that sort of come about? Um, it's come about all of a sudden, to be honest. Um, I had no plans to go abroad uh, to play football, but yeah, as soon as uh, Josh was out there with Luke, their manager asked them whether the new centre back, a defender, that was interested in coming out, and uh, he mentioned my name, um, and I got a call on a Friday night two weeks ago, uh, asking me to go up. Um, so that that was a shock, really, but it, it's an opportunity that I couldn't refuse. So yeah, I accepted it, and uh, I fly out on Thursday. Yeah. And um, what do you know about uh, the team in Switch Nights? Uh, I know they're in a either the league below the top league or a couple of divisions below from what I've heard from the manager that I spoke to on the phone and Josh. Um, I've heard that it's a semi-professional level, um, so it would be a good standard, it would be a challenge to me. But yeah, from what I've heard from the lads out there and from the manager, it's a, it's a decent football club to be joining. Okay, um, let's take it back a couple of years when you first joined FETA. You were some of the first sort of students to come through to FETA. Uh, can you sort of tell me about your experience there? Yeah, um, well, I'd never been to academy before, so joining Matt Towns Academy FETA, uh, I was, uh, at, at the time, I was uh, absolutely over the moon with joining it and all that. Um, but the, the last two, the two years that I spent there, uh, it was a, it was an experience, there was times where it was a struggle, um, but no, I improved my game dramatically, and if I hadn't have gone to FETA, I don't think I would have, improved the way I did with the training, uh, like three days a week, the education. Um, but no, I've met some great people there now. But yeah, it improved my football a lot. Yeah. Um, do you think if you hadn't joined FETA you wouldn't be playing football today or...? Um, I think I'd be playing football, but I don't think I'd be playing at the level I am now or I am going to. Um, but no, over there I went, it helped me a lot. Basically, yeah. but no, I, f I think I would have been playing football, but not at the level and the standard that I will be going to. So no. Okay. Um. As your time at FET, you played in many different teams, going to different competitions. Um. Most notably, the FA Youth Cup at Matt Town. Um. Anything you sort of sticks out to you for a team you really like playing for? Yeah. The FA Youth Cup was a highlight. Um. Even though we lost, and uh, it was a great experience, but um. Even the college games and everything, being part of a team and going down with them, even the long journeys and that were a laugh. Um, but playing at a conference as well, playing on good pitches and stadiums against good teams. Um, but it, it was great, yeah. So yeah, the FA Youth Cup and the playing in the conference were the, the, the pick of the two highlights of my two years there. Yeah. Um, thinking back on a moment, could you think of anything you can pick out that's one of your favourite moments, something that sticks out to you? Favourite moment was scoring uh, for Fetter, for Matt Town uh, on the Moss Rose, the header in the top left hand corner. It's, uh, it's the best moment by far that sticks into my head, even though when my mum and dad were watching it at the game, they had no idea who'd scored it, but I'll never forget that. And it, um, yeah, it was the best moment of the two years, to be honest. That. Right then, so Ben, uh, we've got some photos here of your first sort of year at FETA. The first photo was um, the whole team photo. What do you sort of make of the photo? Uh, I remember it. It took ages for us to get us all to do it. And um, I don't think you were ever going to get a perfect photo of us all. But yeah, I know. Um, it took forever to get that taken. But yeah. Yeah. Uh, your second photo is... Um, a game you played against Man City, uh, do you remember that well? Yeah, 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 friendly, one of the first games I played. Um, believe it or not, I was a forward back then. Um, I almost scored a screamer against them, and being a United fan, that would have been perfect, but unfortunately the goalkeeper produced a decent save, so, but no, it's a good memory that. Yeah. Uh, do you remember um, much of the game, do you remember what the score was, or um, what a guess? I can't, I can't remember, it must have, it was, I think it was three 0 to them in the end, but it was a it was a close game um, with a bunch of lads that had just come together. We didn't we didn't play terribly. We played we played okay, uh, even though they did score three past us. But that was a Man City team that was had been together with each other for a good time. But no, we did well in the match, even though like I say the score was three 0 Yeah, uh, this is going to take you back up to like the beginning. It's your first ever game. 
Uh, Jeremy, who's it against? Um, Old Chungun, okay. I think. Yeah, um, first ever game in the Matt Town kit, the, the, being a Matt Town lad. Um, it was a it was a good experience to wear the Matt Town shirt, but no, I remember it was a, it was a tough match going from my like Sunday league level to this type of level. It was hard. Like uh, I can't remember the score. And it was probably best that I do remember the score because we didn't do too well. Uh, but no, it was a tough match. It was uh, a lot of running. Yeah, and um, the final picture is something a little bit different to football. It's a basketball session. Yeah, if I remember right? Yeah, it's an awful photo. Um, just the trainers say it all on this one, but no, it was uh, it was it was good to do something other than football with Fetter. Um But yeah, it's like the hairstyle as well. God knows what I was thinking. Mm. But I bet um, they sort of bring back some memories of what you did at Fetter. Yeah, and yeah, it was, maybe uh, forgotten. It's good with the lads and everything. Uh, Dylan there with his uh, little arms, but yeah, no. Okay. Um, August came around this year and you sort of, or last year it would be now, and you joined Central. How did that sort of come back? Um, sort of? Well, I was, at, I was at Leet Town with Josh and we were, uh, Josh Frith, who's out there in Australia. Um, we were trying to get into the first team and all that and it, it just wasn't happening. Like, it just was not happening. It, for one reason or another, a manager coming in, a manager going, communication and all that being lost. So uh, we were looking for another club. Uh, and then I heard off, um, I think it was a Facebook page, or I got an email and I contacted Paul at Manchester Central and said, I'd be looking for, I'd be looking for a new team if that, and Paul was more than well, welcoming me back to uh, play under him, so I'm grateful for that, and pre-season and all that, it was, it was amazing to be back um, around the lads, around the coaches and all that, but... And then um, also, uh, obviously, while we're on the central subject, um, you've played about maybe 18, 16, 16 to 18 games for them. Have you got like a memorable moment or best game? Or? Um, I think towards the start of the season, I don't, I don't think I ever... Actually, yeah, maybe the Pennington one, the 6-5 one, because um, it was a, a tough one. It was an aggressive match as well, so to come out... 6-5 winners, even though the scoreline wasn't the best in a cup match, uh, it was a great feeling to to beat them, to be honest, and get through to the next round, but I'd say, say the Pennington 6-5 one would be the best one, yeah. Okay. Um, uh, unfortunately, you didn't score any goals for Central in your time here, <laughs> but I think the closest you came was against Westby away, and you were smashed from the halfway line. Yeah, and sort yeah, of yeah, the yeah. I, I'm going to say it was a shot. Uh, I, I meant to do it, so... Um, but no, no, I'm joking. It was um, it was an overhead cross, but yeah, I got some stick off the lads uh, from their team on the sideline. So for them to do that, it shut them up. But no, I just wish it had gone in. But yeah, it's um, disappointed not to score. Um, but it's just one of those things at the end of the day. Yeah. Um, obviously, Central is sort of the only team in a few divisions around them that film a match. Do you reckon that is? Granted you opportunities elsewhere. Yeah, I was uh, I was excited when I heard that you were going to be filming and stuff because I, I like to put I'm not going to lie I like to put stuff on social media and stuff of um, the best bits of my game and stuff like that. But no, for for people who want to uh, get out there and make it, then um, uh, people will see it. So it's recording and it, it's not just rubbish recording either, it's decent stuff like the equipment and stuff that the, obviously you and the lads bring down is uh, quality. Is, uh, um, while you're out there, we've still been trying to keep updated on how we're getting on, or we yeah, sort of. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. Um, hoping, I'm hoping that you get promoted. Um, I've seen how tight it is um, at the top of the league. But uh, yeah, uh, of course, when I get a chance, I'll uh, try and keep updated with how you're doing and how the lads are doing. But no, I, I hope they get promoted because that's what they deserve at the end of the day. Yeah, cracking. Uh, well, hopefully everything goes well for you out in Australia and good luck. Yeah, hopefully. Cheers.